Out of the last six years I've, I've had studying I must say he, he really stood out as a lecturer. And I think the reason why is because you could see in, in everything he did he really cared about his students. When we would go to the lectures it wouldn't just be him presenting a PowerPoint on the things we needed to learn but rather it'd be more of a two-way discussion. So every five or ten minutes he would stop, he would ask us questions, he would get feedback from us and that way he would know where we were at in our learning so he could tailor it towards us rather than have us need to adjust our learning to, to what he was presenting. He understands what it's like to be a student going through that material and try and understand it for the first time. Um, and in that way, he instantly earns the respect of all his students. He's really invested in his teaching. Uh, he, for instance, makes an effort to learn all of our names. Once I went and I asked him a question about a, a test that I'd just done and a question I got wrong. And before I even got there, he knew the question I was going to ask. He knew exactly what the needs of each student were. He knew exactly where you had gone wrong. And, and that helped tremendously, not only in understanding the content, but motivating myself as a student to learn the stuff, because I knew he cared about me learning just as much as I, learnt, I cared about learning myself. Often if you ask a question, it's not answered in the way you want it or you feel like the professor didn't really understand your question, but you're too afraid to ask again. Um, it does, it's not like that with Professor Farad, because once I ask him a question, he actively asks, did I answer your question? Was it the right question? And he provides alternatives for, or did you really mean this? Which means that I'm not afraid to enter in a dialogue with him, even in the middle of class, be like, this is really what I'm stuck on. And you feel like he genuinely wants to help and that he's very open to you going and seeing him in his own time. So if I send an email, I'm not sure about this, immediately it's like, okay, tomorrow, come see me in my office. It's not that he spends a lecture just lecturing the material, a lot of the material is just taught through examples and I think that is really powerful. He sets his exams and his tests in such a way that you really have to have a very thorough understanding of the content. And his projects are also really thought through so you really learn a lot. For it allows you to be very creative um, with your approach to the project and he allows you to bring ideas to him and he'll help you build on them. Not only does he teach the, 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 the detail but he demonstrates the broad concept, so how all the different sections of the course content relate to one another, how the course content as a whole relates to other areas of electronic engineering, and also how it fits into industry. So you have that extra appreciation of how what you're learning is going to relate to the wider world, you know, so you get the big picture. And he's just a really great teacher.